Hey guys, welcome to the sixth video in the C-sharp linked list tutorial. In this video, we are going to implement the index of and contains methods of the linked list class. So let's get started. So what the index of is going to do is get the index of the item in the list, if it contains it, and if it doesn't contain it, return negative one. So it looks like we will be returning an int. So it would be public int index of, and we pass it an object o first thing we want to do for this method is get the current node. Actually, it'll be the first node. So the node current will be equal to this.head. So that is the first node in the list. Then what we are going to do is loop through all of these nodes in the list and check if the current node's data equals the object data that we pass the index of method. That will require a for loop. So let's set that up. For int i equals zero, so it'll start at the beginning of the list, while i is less than this.count and then i++. Plus plus. So what that does, it's going to loop through all of them until the last item in the list, and after it gets through the last item in the list, it'll just exit the for loop. So what we want to do first in this for loop is test for if that current data equals the object that was passed. So we'll have an if statement. If current dot data, and we're going to use the objects equals method. Every object inherits this method, and it basically tests the similarity between the two objects. Equals o what we want to do is return i, which is the index of that current node in the list. So if that does not return i, what we want to do is set the current to the next node so we can test that in the next time around the loop. So current equals current.next. And that will loop through the entire node list. What happens if it gets through this entire for loop but never returns an index? That just means it's not in the list. So what we have to do here to finish this method off is return negative 1. And the index of method is complete. Let's move on to the contains method now. And this will return a boolean value if the item is in the list. So it'll be public bool contains, and we pass it an object o. Now what I mentioned earlier is we will use the index of implementation in the contains method. If we pass index of an object, say o, if it does not contain it in the list, it will return negative 1. Oh, hey, we can use that here. So that means if the object is in the list, it will return a value greater than negative 1 or greater than or equal to 0. So all we need to do here is return this.index of pass it object o is greater than or equal to 0. And that's the entire contains method. Let's go ahead and test these out now. We'll go over to our main program class. I've created a new linked list here. The first thing we're going to do is get an int value, and then I'll just call this index, and we're going to set it equal to list.index of, and let's say we want to find the string hello in our list. Well, as you can see, we haven't added anything to the list, so this index should be negative 1 after we execute this line of code. Let's test it out. I'll execute the line of code right now, and index equals negative 1. Good, so far Let's add the string hello to the list and see what happens after that. List.add, and we'll, we'll add hello. Now when we execute this line of code, index should be 0 because this is added to the beginning of the list and 0 is the first element of the list. Execute the line of code. Index equals 0. Cool, that works. Now let's change this and test for a boolean value, and we'll just call it contains. We'll set it to list contains. And we'll check for test. So right now, as you can see, there is no string test that has been added to the list. So contains should be false after we execute the line of code. Let's execute it. Contains equals false. Alright. And how about let's add test to the list. Let's dot add test. Let's execute this again. And contains should be true contains is true. Alright, we have successfully implemented the index of and contains method. That is it for this tutorial. In the next video, we will be implementing the get method and the indexer and completing the linked list. Please like this video and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.